process, which what consists in a, when water is hit with a, its own molecular resonant frequency, using a system developed by Stan Meyers, it collapses into hydrogen and oxygen with very little electrical input. But this process is very, very efficient process because only use a nine times less electric and current than predicted by standard lapse of the electrolysis. 60% more cheap is hydrogen and oxygen. It's a storage in a tank. We can use this, this is a fuel. The technology is not conventional electrolysis because the technology produced three times more gas output for un one third of the current rec the, the water molecule. is break down uh, using a, a signal, electronic signal, for break down this um, bone, for disassociate hydrogen from oxy oxygen. Voltage is equal resistance for current. This is a coil, this is coil, this is capacitor, and this is a distance. For this particular circuit, we, not, we don't use uh, a, a battery or direct current. We, we need to use an uh, alternative. And, and this voltage is a uh, variable. Voltage is, but this is when we have a only resistance. We have a resistant coal and capacitor, we have to find the, this is the max, XC. XL is the reactance for the coil. The XC is reactance for the capacitor. Um, XL. And we need a fine. This is the, we're looking for resonant frequency because in this, in this position, the resonance, the, the current is max, maximum. In this, uh, when we, we find the resonant, the a specific resonance. In this condition is when uh, this one equals this, this one. When this condition comply, when this is equal to this, this is equal to zero. And the system, when this does come to zero, the system becomes a, only a resistive system. And we can apply this formula. From this formula, this one comes to this size. This is the condition when resonance, resonant frequency, when these formulas, the L uh, of the coil for the C, the capacitor, using this formula, we can find the, this value if we can find the, this, this point, resonant frequency. This is important. This is the current, and this is the frequency. In hertz, this is using these formulas in the in the circuit. When uh, the frequency, this is a fr frequency in hertz. The frequency goes in this direction. The currents goes in this uh, 
uh, follow this curve and obtain the point max, max in this point, this is the frequency of resonance. This frequency, this frequency of resonance frequency, we can find this using the, the formula. And in this point, we obtain the maximum valor of the current. This is important because when less energy, or, or we don't need a, too much uh, flow of the current, then alternating voltage passes through the circuit. And when this XL equals to XC, all these uh, circuits becomes a resonance frequency. It's uh, like this. This is a, this one too. This is a transformer. This, there's two pipes, like this. One pipe, another pipe inside. With no contact between the pipes. It's no contact. Uh, this have a one, uh, But this one, this one is, this is alternating, and with this is a diode. Correct the alternating voltage to direct, direct current. F of frequency. When this is a circuit. When find the, this frequency, we obtain E, Max. We need this condition for heat. The cap this is the capacitor too. This is a uh, two pipes, and uh, here is a uh, area. When the water, this is submerged on the on water, and the current is connected to this point, to this point. When a, a space because the area is important for the capacitors. When change the area, we change the condition or the capacitance of the capacitor. The, the capacitor. The area is, is this area plus this area plus this area plus this area. To find the specific frequency, we, we need to use the formulas using the area to find the capacitance in, in farads for a specific uh, arrangement of the pipes. The concept is we need a uh, heat with electric pulse uh, conductor material. El this conductor material heat the water inside the system because this pipe is submerged into the water. You have the uh, Alternative current, pero is uh, transformed to direct current. The less necessary energy energy for consumption. It's like the similar when the to try to break a a glass with the sound. Only a, a specific frequency of the sound, the glass is broke for the and, and only a specific frequency, the glass is break. Is going to break. Any system has su own natural frequency. It's called a uh, frequency, the res resonant frequency. When we obtain this frequency, a specific frequency, we use less energy to make more, to produce more power. It, and for the electric system, is the same, the same case. It, we consume less energy but obtain the maximum power for break the, the electrical bond for, for the water molecule. When less energy input, 
you can obtain bigger result at, at output. It's similar to the, or the cup of glass with the sound. You need uh, less energy, but this energy has to be in the correct frequency. But the basic concept is find this, the resonant frequency. 